Hey guys, Meteor Auto Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update on this Sunday. All right, let's jump into water vapor satellite here and I'll give you the lay of the land. So remember on this, the oranges and the reds are going to be your drier air aloft, your moistures and your whites and your blues. A couple of things to mention. Look at all of this dry air across the west, the Intermountain West, the west coast, a lot of the Pacific. Big area of high pressure has set up shop here. Um, a warm, dry fall certainly underway across a lot of the west. The storm track continues to favor BC, uh, the Yukon, and also Alaska. You can see there's a big storm system up there right now spinning right here. So that's where all the action is, and that's where the pattern is. It continues to favor, and it's going to favor for quite some time. In fact, here are my bullet points this morning, and here it is. So storm track favors BC. High pressure continues to dominate the Intermountain West with the next seven to 10 days looking abnormally warm and abnormally dry across a lot of the Intermountain West. So you're talking California, you're talking Nevada, Utah, most of Idaho, most of Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, all of those places are included in this forecast. And you can see the dry air. Here's the time height cross section of the atmosphere for Winter Park in Colorado. Your dry air on this, it's an analysis of forecast for about 72 to 80 hours out for relative humidity in the atmosphere. And it's mainly dry. That's what the yellows and the oranges represent at all levels. There's just a tiny little bit of uh, humidity there, you know, as you kind of work your way out past 72 hours. I mean, there might be an afternoon rain shower or a snow shower over the highest peaks in Colorado around Wednesday. But, um, I mean, even the moisture for that is, is very slim. Uh, but that is an interesting looking forecast because it's going to be dry like this for quite some time. In fact, warm and dry. Here's the analysis, the 15-day um, the temperature outlook or forecast for Yellowstone Lake up in Wyoming. I showed you this one other time, but the red line is going to be your normal line or an average high temperature every single day, all the way through October 20th, October 21st, is warmer than average, warmer than normal. And you can see that every day is around 60 and then eventually the highs drop into the 50s. But um, we're just talking about a warm, dry pattern. I mean, that's the bottom line. And the other thing to consider is the smoke because it has been so dry. Across the West, we've got several new fires, wildfires that have developed, uh, and you can see the effect. So this is the, the smoke forecast, the vertically integrated smoke in the atmosphere. There's smoke coming out of uh, Utah that's drifting into Colorado. There's smoke coming out of Wyoming, quite a bit of uh, smoke up there. There's smoke coming out of Idaho, fires in Montana. All of that is drifting down across the Intermountain West because there's a big, remember, there's a big dome of high pressure so there's there's it's really trapping a lot of this this smoke so you're seeing day after day of poor air quality in a lot of these locations so that's a whole nother thing to consider all right let me just show you what the jet stream is going to look like here so there it is by close of business today 11:30 p.m uh, you can see the ridging across the west the storm tracks taking everything up into bc and canada there's monday there's tuesday the 8th there's wednesday the 9th a little bit of a trough swing in into the West Coast, but it is not significant. And that just quickly slides across and the pattern remains basically the same there on the 14th and the 15th with high pressure across um, the Intermountain West. Um, you know, if we put in precip here, so here is the forecast radar and satellite. There it is by 5.30 this afternoon. It's mainly clear and mainly dry across the lower 48 with all the action sliding up into BC. Uh, it's rain and snow, depending on your elevation. Talked about this several times, but there it is. It's storm after storm, but it's all going. they're all going into the same place. A little extra cloud cover right there at the end of the week across the lower 48 with that trough, that tiny trough swinging through. Another storm system and hitting uh, parts of BC, the Yukon, and Alaska. That's where everything's going through 1015 um, late in the day. All right, as far as snow forecast goes, I've got nothing for the lower 48. It's just dry. Um, There's definitely some snow up there in the parts of BC, and I'll zoom in on this, and this takes us out through the 15th. Um, some pretty heavy accumulations as you work your way up into the northern latitudes of BC, um, close to that line of the Yukon, um, the Northwest Territories, uh, Alaska would be seeing some snow. 
a little bit of snow at the highest of elevations there as you kind of work your way down through the interior, but not talking about anything big. So again, that takes us through the 15th, guys. And, you know, really the bottom line, the story for the next 7 to 10 days is going to be this, warmer than normal and drier than normal across a lot of the Intermountain West. And um, that uh, that temperature profile, that forecast for Yellowstone, Yellowstone Lake really tells the story for a lot of locations. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, this forecast update for the mountains. I appreciate you guys tuning in here and have a great Sunday.